Alright guys, this is Brandon. This is my review of the Ecotec Radions over my 90 gallon system. Um, a lot of you know that I was coming from the Ecozotic Panorama 24s. I switched to the Radions mostly because I really wanted to program them with a computer. I wanted the functionality and customization that uh, the Radions offered. I ended up uh, selling my Eco Zotic Panoramic Pictures and upgrading to these Radions. Now for those of you who don't know, the Radions started about $7.49 a piece, so they are a little bit more on the pricey side. Um, so going back to my review over the Eco Zotic, I still think they're amazing lights and I would recommend them to anyone. It just these ones, in my opinion, are a little bit better, so I'm kind of eating my words here from my last review. Uh, they uh, right now I have two of them over my 90 gallon. They're mounted up there with custom mounts that I actually purchased from a place here in Ohio called Aquatica. I will put a link to their page uh, at the end of this video. Uh, the mounts are really cool. Uh, the one thing I was worried about when getting the Radions was mounting options because all I really saw they had was the hanging kits and rails which costed like $100 and I really didn't want to hang anything from my ceiling if you can't tell my tank is in my basement. Uh, they make these uh, mounts and they're made of acrylic. Uh, they, you can push them back, push them forward, remove them if you want to maintenance the tank. You slide them wherever you want. They just, the little things on the side, here I'll put my finger in the camera, the little things on the side there just kind of screw right onto the tank. So they're really easy to install and really nice tank mounts. I, I think they're like $249 for the mounts, but you, call them up, they customize whatever tank you have, they're really nice. Um, but back to the Radions, uh, so far my corals have been responding very very well to the lights. It looks like I got some uh, more SPS, I got some Acropora, that seems the polyp extension seems to be coming out, you know. My Montiopora is really really red ever since I switched these lights, so the colors are even enhancing. Uh, also with the lights the shimmer is amazing like I the video won't do it justice and so far from what I've seen on YouTube the videos don't uh, they all look nice but in person they're just so much better I would recommend going to any place you see like a fish store maybe it has the radions on display but in person they just look so amazing now what I do with mine uh, since I work late a lot I actually have them set to go completely off around 10 o'clock are in, they actually sorry they fade into the moonlights around 10 o'clock and then I get the complete shutdown around midnight then they're off and then they come back on um, I gradually have them starting up uh, from artificial mode which is in the uh, Ecotech software and I kind of customize this color spectrum a little bit I have some red and blues that kind of simulate like a sunset sunrise that it looks really really nice now, the, there are some, I mean, mostly I, mostly I have good things to say. I'll, I'll kind of chime in in a few months here and let you guys know exactly how my corals are doing. But it's, the only bad thing I have to say about these lights is the software. And with software, you're going to have some issues no matter what. You're going to have some bugs. I understand that. Um, but it's something I just got to address. I found myself, I had to reprogram my lights a few times um, I know in the forums there's some green like issue where the lights in the morning are like very very green but aside from that everything else is great like the lights have a fan in the middle they run fairly cool you customize whatever color spectrum you want whenever you want them you can put thunderstorms in clouds in whatever you want and they're just amazing and a really great addition in this hobby uh, plus, like I said, the look you get from them, the shimmer, is outstanding. I've noticed, that even with my bird's nest coral, that the, I'm starting to get white tips again, so it's starting to grow out. Uh, my next addition, hopefully, is going to be some MP40s to get rid of these uh, Coralias. Uh, they just aren't producing the best flow. Um, but you know, getting the Radions, i kind of low on cash right now, so I'm going to go ahead and wait and make that my next purchase. But, yeah, I mean... Everything, I, like I said, is great. Software, there are some bugs, but I believe in Ecotech. I believe that they're going to address these issues, and we'll see a fix for them in the future. Another bad thing, uh, which I also read in their forum that they're working on, is Mac 
uh, compatibility. Right now, y you only can use this with a PC, so if you're a Mac user like I am, uh, put Boot Camp on it or use a clunky old PC and get the <laughs> lights program. That basically brought down this, you know, let me, this old, old Dell and programmed the lights and then kind of left them plugged in and they're just kind of stuck in artificial mode. So if I run into any issues or anything like that, I'm going to have to plug that computer back in and reprogram them. But like I said, I hopefully they're making some Mac compatibility. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, this is just a really, really quick, you know, showing you guys that I had a new addition to my tank. Uh, also, yeah, I added a little baby yellow tang who seems to be getting along with everyone uh, on top of the lights. Uh, but yeah, the light's awesome. Just showing you guys the new addition. I will chime in in a few months and let you guys know uh, what's going on with them. I know I was I follow New York Stilo, and I know he switched over to Radions and was having some problems with his bubble coral. Um, or it wasn't expanding like it used to. Mine seems to be doing really well. The only thing I would have to report is my torch coral. I don't know if you guys see it right there. That hasn't opened up as much since I switched over to the lights, but I think it's just got to get used to it. You want to make sure you're acclimating the corals. Like I said in my last video, it's very important. I started off these radions at about 50% and just kind of worked my way up uh, to 100% during the day. I have them from 100% to like 2 to 5, I believe, and then it ramps back down. So yeah, guys, this is Brandon. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on the Radions. I'll also post another video over these custom tank mounts because, like I said, I think they're really great. Uh, and I'll post some links at the bottom of the video when it's done. But yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and write me a comment, uh, email, whatever you want to do. All right, see ya.